Hello everyone, welcome to this series on cultural studies and in this video we are going to discuss Louis Althusser. Introduction Louis Althusser 1918-1990 was a prominent French communist philosopher who emerged as one of the most influential Marxist theoreticians of the post-war period. His extensive and comprehensive reconstruction of Marxist philosophy and social theory garnered a significant intellectual following throughout Western Europe and Latin America during the 1960s and 1970s. Althusser's work, particularly in For Marx and Reading Capital, both published in 1965, critically examined and transformed existing Marxist thought, making a lasting impact on the field. Early Critique and Reformation of Marxism Althusser and his collaborators, including Etienne Balibar and Pierre Machery, subjected existing Marxist traditions to a rigorous critique, primarily targeting their perceived Hegelianism. He argued that both Orthodox Marxism, as represented by Kortsky and Stalin, and Western Marxism, exemplified by Lukács and Sartre, were plagued by the common vice of historicism. In Althusser's view, these traditions, whether in the form of economism or humanism, misrepresented Marx's departure from German idealism by constructing historical materialism as a philosophy of history. Orthodox Marxism, characterized by economism, depicted human history as an inevitable progression towards communism driven by technological determinism. Conversely, humanism, which emerged as a reaction to Stalinism in the 1950s and 1960s, portrayed history as an odyssey of the human essence, moving from alienation in class society to its reappropriation in classless future. Althusser critiqued these perspectives for their abstract schematism, which he believed precluded a concrete understanding and transformation of historical conditions. The Althusserian Reformation Return to Marx Althusser's reformation of Marxism was framed as a return to Marx encompassing three interconnected endeavors. Epistemological History of Marxism Althusser aimed to reread Marx's heterogeneous works to identify the foundational and developmental aspects of Marxism. Historical epistemology He sought to establish a historical epistemology that would clarify the substance and status of Marx's materialist conception of history. Renovation of Historical Materialism Althusser aimed to renovate historical materialism as a non-historicist theory of modes of production and social formations. Symptomatic reading and the epistemological break. Central to Althusser's approach was the concept of symptomatic reading, which posited a profound conceptual and epistemological discontinuity between Marx's early and later works. According to Althusser, the epistemological break occurred with the German ideology, written by Marx and Engels in 1932, marking a departure from left Hegelianism to the initiation of the science of history. This theoretical revolution, however, was incomplete, as Marx had only opened up the continent of history for scientific exploration, scientific status and cognitive autonomy. Althusser affirmed the scientific status of historical materialism while insisting on its incompletion due to the inherent limitations of Marx's achievements and the nature of scientific inquiry. He rejected the materialist metaphysics of the Second and Third Internationals, which portrayed Marxism as a comprehensive cosmology of worldview. Instead, Althusser conceived historical materialism as a finite theory of history, subject to continuous development and rectification. Althusserian epistemology, influenced by Spinozist rationalism 
and French conventionalist philosophy of science rejected the canonical dialectical materialism systematized by Stalin. Instead, Althusser's theory of theoretical practice aimed to secure the cognitive autonomy of the sciences from political interference while recognizing their relative autonomy as socio-historical products. He proposed that any society could be divided into four practices – economic, political, ideological and theoretical – each with its transformative structure akin to the labor process. Key Themes in Historical Materialism Althusser's reconstruction of historical materialism centered on four main themes. Recasting the Marxist Dialectic Althusser criticized the traditional interpretation of the Marx-Hegel relationship as a materialist inversion of an idealist construct. He argued that any such operation retained the teleological character of Hegelian dialectic. Instead, he postulated the overdetermination of contradictions where multiple contradictions in a society are interconnected and mutually constitutive. Reconceptualization of Social Formations Althusser aimed to respect the constitutive complexity of social formations by displacing the base superstructure model and differentiating the Marxist totality from the Hegelian. He proposed that any social formation is a united but decentered structure comprising economic, political and ideological instances each enjoying relative autonomy and specific effectivity. Non-Evolutionist Theory of Modes of Production Althusser and Balibar abandoned technological determinism, reconfiguring modes of production as articulated combinations of forces and relations of production under the primacy of the latter. This perspective viewed modes of production as self-reproducing totalities rather than transient phenomena determined by iron laws of history. Anti-Humanism and Ideology Althusser's understanding of history as a process without a subject emphasized the primacy of social structures over human agents. He drew on Jacques Lacan's psychoanalysis to theorize ideology as the realm of the imaginary, where individuals' real relations with society are inverted, allowing them to function as social agents. Influence and Legacy Althusser's work had a profound impact on Marxist debates and intellectual initiatives. He reconnected Marxism with non-Marxist thought, particularly Lacanian psychoanalysis and Saussurean linguistics, and sponsored new research across various disciplines. His philosophy for science aimed to reconcile the critique of empiricism and positivism with a realist theory of the natural and social sciences. Despite his significant contributions, Althusserianism faced critiques and decline in the 1970s and 1980s. His theory of theoretical practice was seen as an unstable compromise between rationalism and conventionalism, and his anti-humanism met objections for its perceived structural determinism. The theory of ideology was criticized for functionalism and residual economism, and the concept of relative autonomy was deconstructed, leading to post-Marxist pluralism. Conclusion Louis Althusser's reinterpretation of Marxism was marked by a remarkable scope and originality, combining political radicalism and philosophical modernism. While his influence was waned, his work remains an essential part of the theoretical unconscious of contemporary cultural and critical theory. Althusser's interventions in Marxist theory have left an enduring legacy shaping the way scholars approach historical materialism, ideology, and the social sciences. So this was the discussion on Louis Althusser. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.